Well, my Tesla friends, there is a day of reckoning and it looks like it's coming up very soon. Tesla announced that there is going to be some changes coming very soon to the connectivity in our Teslas and it could very well affect you. So today we're going to actually dive in and take a look at those changes for you. All right, guys, it's here, it's announced, and a lot of you obviously on the internet are complaining and trying to figure it all out. So I'm gonna try and dive into this stuff and clear it up as best I can for you. Now, we all know that our Teslas rely on connectivity. It does various things like your music and your navigation. It affects autopilot. And today, uh, Tesla has announced that they are making some changes to the connectivity of the cars by the end of this year. They're moving more to a subscription-based service. So there are two connectivity functions in the car. Tesla basically explains them as what's called the basic connectivity or standard connectivity, and then there is a premium connectivity package. So they say that all the cars come with standard con connectivity, which provides access to most connectivity features over Wi-Fi only, in addition to basic maps and navigation, music streaming over Bluetooth. Premium connectivity provides access to all of those features, but over cellular. So there's a differentiation as to pose what's available on Wi-Fi, because all the cars can connect to Wi-Fi. And then there are some features that only work over um, you know, your LTE connection in the car. Basically what Tesla is doing is they're gonna be moving to a $9.99 US plus applicable tax premium connectivity package. And who it affects and what it affects are broken down into a couple of different date ranges. So Tesla's saying here is that if you purchase your car on or after July 1st, 2018 and have expected premium connectivity trial and date on or before December 31st, 2019, you will maintain your premium connectivity until returning to standard connectivity on January 1st, 2020. All deliveries of Model 3 Standard Range and Standard Range Plus on or before December 31st, 2019 will receive 30-day complimentary premium connectivity trial. So if you wanna see what your car actually qualifies for, you need to log into your Tesla account and in the bottom right-hand corner, it should show you what your car actually comes with and what you can upgrade to. Now, in my particular account, because I'm in Canada, it doesn't show anything at this point. So I don't know if that's a Canadian rule or it's just a case of, well, we just haven't gotten around to you guys yet, which is kind of the typical for us. But let's dive in a little bit here and just explain what is in each connectivity package. Now, Tesla has a chart on their website here. They have a column that says standard included in all cars. The only thing that is standard in all cars is navigation. So that's the Google Maps that runs in the background. Live traffic visualization is now moving to the premium package or the premium connectivity. Live satellite views, maps as well, video streaming, karaoke, music streaming, and internet browser. All of those functions now are moving to the premium connectivity package. So it's no longer included with the cars. You have to remember that all of these features, whether you get them or not, are available over Wi-Fi. Now, Tesla has said in the past that they plan on adding Wi-Fi hotspots to all of the superchargers, which I think is a good move. But again, there's priorities here. We don't know exactly how fast they're gonna get around to that. They also say that some features such as karaoke and video streaming are not supported on some cars based on the hardware configuration. So again, it all depends on what you bought. So on Tesla's page, they actually break it down as to who qualifies and who gets what. So in the chart, they show that Model S or X ordered on or before June 30th, 2018, get free premium connectivity. If the car was ordered after July 1st, 2018, you're eligible for premium connectivity subscriptions. Model 3s with premium interior get free premium connectivity on or before June 30th. After July 1st of 2018, they're eligible again for premium connectivity subscription. Model 3 Standard Range and Standard Range Plus, not applicable for cars ordered on or before June 30th, 2018. Again, fall into the premium connectivity package if you bought July 1st, 2018 or later. And use Tesla cars. They get free premium connectivity on or before June 30th, 2018. After July 1st, 2018, again, they can subscribe to the premium connectivity subscription as well. All of these subscriptions are done in your Tesla account. You can't do it in the car, so make sure you log into your Tesla account and you'll be able to subscribe to those things. Again, just want to reiterate that standard connectivity is included in all the Tesla cars at no additional cost. The premium connectivity is based on a monthly subscription and the prices is determined as $9.99 US. Um, other countries, once they come online, it'll be priced in your local currency plus whatever taxes are applicable. 
This will also says, can I cancel my connectivity? Yes, you can. You need to log into your Tesla account and adjust your premium connectivity subscription. Another question people might have, can I get a refund on my premium connectivity subscription if I cancel it in between billing cycles? Tesla says, no, you can't receive a partial or a full refund on your premium connectivity subscription. You can cancel your premium connectivity subscription at any time and will continue to receive premium connectivity features for the duration of the billing cycle before returning to standard connectivity at the end of the billing period. So how does it affect software updates? It doesn't affect software updates in any shape or form. All cars must connect to Wi-Fi now primarily to get the software updates. The days of, uh, I think the days of getting the software updates are, uh, over LTE are, are going away because of these changes in the subscription model that they're going through with, uh, with data. Will this change affect your in-car navigation map and routing? No. Tesla says that all cars with standard connectivity will continue to receive the same core maps and navigation functionality as cars with premium connectivity, including traffic-based routing. The trip planner and supercharger stall availability are also included with that, so nothing's changing as far as that's concerned. Premium connectivity, on the other hand, will add the satellite view maps and live traffic visualizations. So what's available for the media player as far as standard connectivity? Tesla says that standard connectivity, you can do things over Bluetooth, pairing, FM radio, Sirius XM for cars that are configured with XM, playback from a USB drive and music and media streaming over Wi-Fi. Premium connectivity is required for in-car streaming and media over cellular, that's the LTE connection. Will these changes affect autopilot? Tesla says no. None of these changes affect autopilot as far as connectivity is concerned. So you're not going to lose your autopilot. Nothing's going to be affected as far as that's concerned. Now, the big question for a lot of people is, can you use the premium connectivity features if you use a mobile hotspot, say if you tether to your phone or you have another device? And Tesla basically says, yeah, you can certainly use that. So for a lot of you who might be worrying about these changes, if you have a healthy data plan on your cell phone, there's your option, you're already paying for that. I think in a lot of ways, I mean, this subscription service that everybody seems to be you know, moving to is kind of bleeding us dry a little bit. So anyways, I understand what Tesla's doing here. A lot of these changes are coming about because of version 10, all the entertainment features that Tesla's been adding on there, things like you know the Hulu and the YouTube and the Netflix, that's consuming huge amounts of data. So it makes sense for them to actually make these changes much to the chagrin of everybody having to pay extra for a premium connectivity package, but I get it. It's just one of those things. So what I'm gonna be doing, if it actually comes to affect me, I'm gonna be tethering on my phone to get these features. So uh, it looks like because I bought my car at a certain time, I still get one year of free connectivity. So it looks like I don't really have to worry about it. If it does affect me, that's what I'm going to be doing. So how are used Teslas affected by this policy? Well, Tesla says that all used Tesla cars purchase on or before. So how are used cars affected by this policy? Tesla says that all used Tesla cars purchase on or before June 30th, 2018 will continue to have premium connectivity features described above at no cost for the lifetime of the car and they will be active for future owners if sold privately. All used Tesla cars purchased on or after July first 2018 will receive standard connectivity and are eligible to upgrade to the premium connectivity package. So what happens to the premium connectivity if I sell or trade in my Tesla? If the premium connectivity is included in your car at no cost, it will be removed automatically at the time of trade-in. So if the car is sold privately, on the other hand, premium connectivity will remain for future owners for the lifetime of the car. So there's a bit of an incentive there, I think, in a lot of ways. Tesla doesn't want your trade-in, sell it privately. However, if you're subscribed to the premium connectivity and you sell your car privately, you'll need to log into your Tesla account and cancel your subscription. If you trade in your car, your subscription will be canceled automatically at the time of trade-in. So is there a trial period for the premium connectivity? And now Tesla says that all Model S, X, and 3 with premium interior, that's the keyword right there, ordered on or after July 1st, 2018, a premium connectivity package trial is offered for one year beginning at the delivery date. To make that a little bit more clear, there's a chart here. They say new orders of S, X, and 3 with premium interior on or after July 1st, 2018 to get one year starting from the delivery date. New inventory orders on or after July 1st, 2018 to get one year starting from the delivery date. Used cars on or after July 1st, 2018, none. Any car sold privately through a third party and does not already have premium connectivity, you get nothing. Now Tesla has been emailing out some people that might be affected by that and they also say on their website 
that before your trial ends, you will get an email notification so you'll know what decision you have to make at that point. So there you go. I hope that explains really what's going on. I'll put a link down in the video description if you guys want to check out the page for yourselves. But let me know what you think in the comments below as far as these policy changes and how it might affect you and what your plans are as far as the connectivity packages or maybe you want to tether to your phone. So anyways, curious to see what you think. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you on the next one.